Hopi. They live on the high, barren plateaus of northeastern Arizona, occupying the oldest continuously inhabited settlement on this continent. They migrated here from different directions and separate clans and joined together more than a thousand years ago in order to shoulder a particular responsibility. According to their ancestors, they came to these mesas where hardly anyone but the Hopi have ever wanted to be because they'd been sent here for a special reason. People consider this to be the center of the earth, and uh, they settled here to carry on the religious life of the Hopi people, to maintain stewardship over Mother Earth, and to take care of it in behalf of all mankind. The sun is not the creator, but the creator created the sun and put that energy into the sun, which the sun then passes to impregnate the earth, which causes the earth mother then to bring her offspring into the world. People, animals, grass, flowers, stone, trees, whatever. And um, the difference between solar energy and uh, the energy produced by coal-fired power plant is that if you don't run the power plants either with water or coal, there'll be no electrical energy. If you don't have a solar panel, the sun is going to shine anyway. Whether we have any solar panels out there, the sun is going to shine every day, at least here in our part of the country. So you don't do anything to exploit that in order to have it, you see. Certainly, you have to have uh, financial means to buy the mechanical equipment, but there's no artificial generation of that energy. It's just harvesting, once again, of that energy that's already coming down naturally. That's the difference. It has practical considerations, and it has cultural considerations, which makes it very much ideal and much more acceptable into Hopi society than the introduction of commercial power. Because nobody owns the sun. You know, the, the white man does not own the sun and neither does anybody else. It's just there, you see. So those, these fears that the Hopi people have for services and things that are provided commercially by the dominant society do not exist so much when you consider solar power. And of course it has, uh, you know, aesthetic considerations as well. You don't have the ugly high line, pole line extensions coming into the village. And it's clean, it's clean. <laughs> 